Okay, Windows 8 start screen is the same as your start menu in Windows 7. You simply have more real estate. All your applications, your icons are bigger. They're spread across an infinite number of screens that you can go left to right. You can also take a look at all of them that are installed. If you hover over the bottom right corner of the screen, there's a little minus sign will appear. All you got to do is click on this. It will shrink your desktop to where you can see everything there. Uh, and jump to the sections. Conversely, you can go back to the regular start menu. If you want to find an application that you don't know where it's installed at, you just simply can start typing. For example, we start typing in something here. It will tell us exactly uh, what they are. If we take that out of uh, the search, you'll see the list of every single installed application on your system. And Now, that seem, might seem confusing, and that's why Microsoft did what they did. You simply type in the name of the application control panel, for example. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, oh, we're going to go ahead and do the control panel, and there's the control panel there. To add this, we simply go to that icon over there on the left-hand side of the page. We right-click on it, and we go to the bottom and say pin the start menu. Now if we go back and visit the start menu again, you'll see that there, score panel is there. To remove it, we right-click again. We go down to the bottom and say unpin from start menu. And it's gone. It never leaves your system. It's just off to the side where it doesn't do anything, it doesn't bother you, doesn't get in your way, it's just simply there. We can do that for as many applications as we would like uh, to do. It's just a question of how you want to handle it. It keeps it very clean and very organized. And that's how you initially add and subtract items from your Windows Start menu.